to prevent the virus from spreading. Earlier this year, Governor Wolf ordered a massive shutdown of businesses. Today, a federal judge ruled that order was unconstitutional. Four local counties, along with business owners and Republican lawmakers, had sued over it. It declares that the stay-at-home orders were unconstitutional, should never have happened, um, that the business shutdown orders violate uh, two sections of the United States Constitution, um, and picking winners and losers shall not happen again in Pennsylvania under these circumstances. The fight may be far from over, though. Governor Wolf plans to appeal the judge's ruling. Still tonight, those who filed the lawsuit are calling it a victory. Jennifer Barrasso has reaction from Washington County Commissioners. Jennifer. That's exactly right, Ken. This is a big victory. Business owners now knowing they can't be arbitrarily shut down in the future. Earlier, I talked to a man whose family has owned a furniture and appliance store for decades. He testified that he was severely impacted. His business lost 60% revenue. Today's ruling effectively restricts the state of Pennsylvania from setting gathering limits, imposing stay-at-home orders, and closing businesses. Washington County commissioners met tonight. Here is a reaction. This is the entire state of Pennsylvania. Uh, the, the, the action that we put against the judge was, did he overstep the American constitutional rights and civil liberties of the, of the people of the, of the state of Pennsylvania? And Judge Stickman today ruled in our favor that indeed he did. The restrictions were it was 25 people or 50 people, we will see go away. However, we absolutely have to still adhere to the guidelines that the CDC has, the federal guidelines that the CDC has. Today is a huge victory for our businesses in Washington County. And, you know, this opens up a lot of questions. It shows um, where boundaries are. I also talked to Leslie Oshie, the chairperson of the Butler County Commissioners. She said, quote, I am happy that Butler County initiated this legal action on behalf of our business constituents whose lives and livelihoods were disrupted, if not lost, through denial of fundamental liberties. We continue to uphold our personal moral responsibility for taking precautions to prevent the spread of the virus. The shutdown order impacted local businesses and jobs were lost. The attorneys representing Butler, Green, Fayette, and Washington counties in that federal lawsuit and the lawyers involved. And the judge deciding that the limits on indoor and outdoor activities like weddings and social gatherings unconstitutional. Now, the Washington County Commissioner that we saw tonight one of them. He said that he's getting a lot of calls from parents about sporting events and watching their kids. So right now there are no limits, but they must follow CDC guidelines. And once again, Governor Tom Wolf plans to appeal. Reporting live, Jennifer Barrasso, KDK News.